YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's favourite today, how you doing, it is Sunday, um, Sunday evening, I thought I'd go through my car boot wall and show you um, what I got, uh, as you might have seen in my last video, uh, my wife passed a driving, a driving test, um, I, well, I say I am, I saved 14 quid getting taxis, but I ended up having to cough out 15 quid on um, it's this new thing that, that my daughter's obsessed with and her friends at school are obsessed with poppets and simple dimples and then there's these octopuses that go inside out and stuff and they're selling them like at markets now in car boots. Um but she lost her poppet yesterday and then she wanted one of these octopuses so i had to video call her while i was at the um car boot and show her all the um all the different ones because it was literally every other store <clears throat> if somebody was selling kind of wholesale stuff had these poppets and simple dimples so i had to video call her and she had to choose which one she wanted i ended up spending it was like 15 quid um so that was what I saved on taxis ended up getting spent on these simple dimples and puppets. <coughs> Sorry, my voice has gone a bit hoarse. Um, I was saying. So yeah, um, wife drove me there. Which was, it was kind of, to be fair, it was kind of nice because I'm not I'm used to getting out and going into kind of the countryside on a Sunday morning for a car boot, but um, you could tell the kids were like, "Wow, look at it." Look at the cows and like Lacey was saying um, how bright and nice it looked first thing in the morning. So it was nice to have like a little drive with the family to the car boat. Uh, so they dropped me off and then um, I spent a couple of hours there and then she'll pick me up after. I didn't, like she's still getting used to certain things um, like parking in bays and stuff like that. And I was like, don't go on the car boat. <laughs> don't go on the car boat and park on a field. And then try. I think she'd do absolutely fine, but I didn't want to panic her and stuff like that. I was like, just drop me off, and then I'll, I'll let you know. I offered to get taxis today, to be quite honest. Um, but so the football's on. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a good day. Um, the field was rammed, and then they've got like a field next to it they use as a car park, and if it's really busy, they use another half of um, that field. So yeah. It was really busy, and I picked up quite a bit of things. Um, how many? How many items was it? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think it's about twelve items. Um, some good money in them. Um, as it is mostly, it's mostly clothing, but there's some. I think pretty good, non-clothing pickups this week. That I'm gonna leave till the end, but um. Yeah, there's some, I'll tell you what it is, some footwear and some toys, which, um yeah, I think I'll get some good money for. But I'll go through the clothing first, for Andy Robinson. So Andy Robinson, skip until you see me with something else that isn't a piece of clothing, man. Um, so, right, <clears throat> first of all, your standard, just G-Star 96 raw jeans. Uh, these cost me three quid. Don't smell that bad to be fair. Um five six two hour ninety six jeans cost me no cost me four quid, sorry. Cost me four quid. Um twenty five on these. Haven't found you always find the carbide stuff. I don't know if anybody else not always, but you have to be really wary about kind of holes and stuff. I don't feel you really get a good look at the carbide. I know I don't anyway because there's just so many people around the stuff. But yeah, four quid. Um, gonna shoot for twenty five. Shoot for twenty five on that. Uh, what's this? Uh, Dewalt. Um, if you saw my video the other week, I picked up a Dewalt jacket. Not something I'd really look into, but I heard a couple of youths um, in a charity shop, and I saw a Dewalt jacket. I ended up picking it up. The logo was a bit like tatted, but um, I ended up picking it up, and I, it hasn't sold yet. But it's had, it's got like a few watches, a few shitey offers on it. But 
Nothing that I'm going to leap at it yet anyway. But I've um, got a better one this week. A DeWalt kind of thicker jacket with a DeWalt logo and then DeWalt. I'm, I'm saying it right. DeWalt on the back. <coughs> um, cost £5 and shoot for £25. For that. I need to check the zip on this after the because I'll show you something in a minute which I've got burnt on. Yeah, this it looks fair. Yeah, uh, like, I think I've said it before in my videos. I like car boots. I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy the experience of the car boot, and I enjoy like the bar, you know, the bargains that you can pick up at a car boot. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm more, I'm more of a charity shop person. I've got to be honest, because with the charity shop per, shop. It's going to be, you know, very rare you get faulty stuff, and if you do, you can just take it back. Oh, the car boot's so hard. Um, yep, yeah. these, um, the guy, I was speaking to the guy about uh, these. I felt, I felt bad because he was, I bought a weird fish one, which I'll show you in a minute. Actually, I'll show you that first. Um, but I bought this weird fish one, and he was kind of, I love weird fish stuff. Do you love weird fish stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I love it. I love weird fish to do. How much? Five ah, go on then. <laughs> but yeah, um so I had a conversation about weird fish. Not fish of the weird but weird fish and um, pull over hoodies, pull over faces. Um but yeah, there were this I don't know. It looks a bit faded, but I don't know, I don't know if it's just the colour. I'm not hundred percent, but um yeah. Cost me three. I'm gonna shoot for twenty five, but I think I think it might come down a bit before I end up missing it. So I like go uh, the price of it down there. I like yeah, twenty five. But if I think it's a bit too faded or um, it's a bit pilly, if you know what I mean, I might take the price down a bit. But at the minute it's for twenty five. Cost me three. Love a bit of weird fish, and then from the same person as well. Again, a bit pilly. Not really. If you can, yeah, you can see it on there. Not really much you can do with. Like I've got like um, a debobbler, but I don't think a debobbler is really going to get rid of it. But yeah, and, oh yeah, they've left the left their um, special price tag. All this original five pound or nearly stuff. I I just took it for five. Don't like that win. But yeah, all this legit. Um, yeah, a five ack and shit for 35 quid. Again, the price might come down because of the pilling. I think the price will up. I think I'll probably shoot more between 32 maybe because of the pilling. But yeah, 32 quid for that one. That was a fair This one felt gutted about this one. Um, I think I mentioned before Snickers work. If you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't know, now you know. To wrap in verse. Um, Snickers, if you're looking for workwear trousers, if you ever want to sell workwear trousers, Snickers is the one to pick up, definitely. The rest of them are shite. <laughs> like Dickies and that, you'll get some money back, but Snickers, if you ever see Snickers, definitely pick them up. Uh, but the cutting thing on me is the zips broke on the fly. Um, but I have, I've sold Snickers trousers with like a gaping hole on the crotch, so like it was there. There was a gaping hole on the crotch and somebody bought them. Um, so, you're looking... Where have I put on there? There we go. So, it cost me a tenner. Again, a bit good. Tenner. I've, gone, I've put 35. Oh, so, no. Where's the Orvis jacket? I might have missed. No, I'm going 35 on the Orvis jacket. Yeah, I've gone for 35 because of the fly. They should sell pretty. They should, they should sell for thirty five. I don't know. I think I think I'm underselling them at thirty five. To be fair, um, I think the regular price was around fifty. Then after that, the regular price is around forty, and I think that's why I've gone for thirty five with the broken zip. But yeah, thirty five out of a tenner. It's a bit cutting because of the thought of what's so. Um, this Joe Brown's, which this only cost me two quid. 
Dry brown, again a bit faded, slightly faded, a bit washed. But um, yeah, Joe Brown's camouflage jacket. I was surprised. I, when I saw this, I was like, I've made like a little, um, you know, kind of squeal. <laughs> like a dolphin. Um, but yeah, two quid. Cost two quid. Not that much. Not that much, you know. 20 quid, and I'm being generous. So I yeah, shoot for 20 quid on that. That way I'll keep that one. You saw my vlog from last time. Nah, this one worth it. But yeah, um, I'm definitely keeping the t shirt. Jab around. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm definitely gonna start doing that. If there's stuff like where it's like, I'm gonna resell that and then I look at it and I go, you know what? I'm gonna have that. If it's in XL or 2XL, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have that. So yeah, that's the clouding, guys. So let's get to. Non-clouding items. So Andy Robinson, come back into the room. Right, let's do that. Let's do a couple of toys first. A Nerf gun. I thought this would be worth something. Um, it's a flip fury, so it flips the bullets. My wife's in the camera because the kids trying to get asleep. Uh, but this cost me. Four quid? It did it cost me four quid? I can't imagine I'd buy four quid for a Nerf gun. Yeah, I think it did. I think it, I thought it was like a special gun. So yeah, cost me four quid. Not much money in it. Tenner. And that's me being generous. But I thought there'd be more money. The Nerf... I need to stop looking at Nerf at a car, but I don't really... Buy that much, but I will go. Oh, and then I'm like, oh, now when I ask the person how much he wants for it, it's gonna be ridiculous amounts of money. And like, you know, it's not gonna be anywhere near the resale value that I think it is made. So, yeah, 10 pounds for that if I'm lucky. Uh, next, yeah, this one was a bit of a punch, just cost me a pound. Um, I recognize the name on the back, Lanard. Uh, which I've picked up Lanard toys before. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what it's from. What have I put? Uh, Jur Jurassic. I can't say. Jurassic. You know, like the Jurassic part. I can't say. Jurassic. Yeah, I've got like a kind of weird um, Sean Connery thing when I say Jura Jurassic. Jurassic. I can't say. Jurassic. Jurassic. Jura you know what I'm saying. Clash. Mega Gorilla. Cost me a pound, about 15 quid. It needs new batteries, but yeah, 15 quid for that man. Uh, what else is in here? So I'm keep them clean. Uh, yep, yeah, some more motorcycle boots. Need a bit of a clean. I might just sell them as seen, to be fair. I was looking up how to clean them today, and it looks a right pain in the dick. If anybody knows how to clean them any better. But yeah, they're a bit grey looking on the yellow. Um, but they, um, again, I'm not pronouncing this right now. Sidi, Sidi, I don't know. Sidi boots. Um, some are going for like over 100 quid. Uh, they cost me a 10 of these. Um, some are going for like over 100, 100 quid, 150 quid. Um, at the minute, I'm saying 50. But they are pretty beat up. But I'm like a 50, sorry. Somebody might want them for 50. Yeah, but I'm gonna go for 50 quid. Oh yeah, I, I, I always worry with that sort of thing. So I'm like, I've got the same foot. Um, but yeah, I'll go for 50 on them. Um, the, yes. Where have you gone? Oh, the toy, there we go. Right. So these, these next two are the ones that I'm really happy about. These two here. So, um, yeah, I was surprised. I saw this lying on the floor, this big one. Um, I'm not going to press the mechanisms, but they all work. I think, has that one got the bullet? Yeah. So that one's got a bullet on the front. Uh, but they're Captain Scarlet, the SPV. I can't remember what the SPV stands for, 
but yeah this is from this is from 1994 this one is so 1994 this one's from that one's from 1993 I'll show you what this one does oh there we are and then shot out of one end but yeah there we are and then you got the little man inside I don't think the little man comes out no but yeah this one I'm not going to open it because it makes a loud noise when it opens but it's got two little figures and I think Captain Scarlet and another figure in the middle it has got an aerial missing um, but yeah so it cost me a fiver for the both of them not for the both of them three for this one two for this one and um, yeah 40 quid for that it's got a bit of wear on it a few like sticky marks on the back but you know, I've, I've seen one going for that kind of condition um, for 40 quid so yeah, I'm going to shoot for 40 quid on that one and then 30 quid on that one yeah well happy with that but guys those two aren't my best items from this week no 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 I have one more some more Doc Martin boots I can't do anything there where is the Doc Martin so yeah. Doc Martin boots got some more Doc Martin boots now these are um, what they're called Amal Amalia ones or something they kind of go like that So they bend down like that and then you've got like a tartan I'm not, I'm not saying it well but you've got like a I must have mastered this before I take the photos but like a kind of tartan pattern around there and then the same with them so yeah they're a bit beat up on the front since some of these go for I think one pair have gone for 250 um, and then it comes down to about 150 140, 120. I'm going to shoot for 100, 100 quid because of how beat up they are on the front. You know, they're pretty worn. But I'm going to shoot for 100 quid. Sod it. But yeah, again, because I keep talking about fakes and stuff, I'm going to do a little bit more. These cost me a tenner, by the way, as you can see on the label. Um, but I'm going to look a little bit more, see if there's any fakes of them around. I oh, hope there isn't. I really do. But yeah, I was happy with them. Ten pound. As soon as I saw them, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll have them." And then, um, as soon as I looked it up, I thought a tenner, even if I sell them for forty, you know, it's still alright. Uh, but yeah, the two hundred and fifty quid some have sold for, but they look proper, like legit. Not proper legit, proper nice. Do you know what I mean? These are legit, but they look proper nice. Um, but these, they're a bit beat up. But yeah, I'm gonna go for 100 with the best offer. Let's see what happens. I can always bring the price down. So yeah, that was my stuff from the car boot this week. Um, I think I might go sourcing again this week. Sod it. Um, I think when I'm, I've talked to the wife, um, you know, we've still got savings and stuff. So I've said, do you mind? Just for the first month that I'm going back um, after the lockdown and that, if I can, you know, go out and get, like, a short load of stock this month. And if it comes to the end of the month and I still haven't caught up with my money, then I'll have a month of, um, you know, no sourcing. But hopefully, touch wood, what happens is I have a fantastic month in May because I'm getting such great stuff and then I catch up that's what I'm always thinking at the minute touch wood but as I've said before like you saw in the last vlog one day I was saying I'm only going to do sourcing twice a week I'm not going to do how I blah 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 and then by the end of the video I'd already been outsourcing and by this video sod it Five times a week. Yeah. We'll see. 
we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try and be sensible though. Roll on to next video. Um, I bought this for a tenner, and it's gonna sell for eleven. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, for now. Peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much for your support and all that stuff. Please like the video if you like the video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Please unsubscribe if you're no longer on all the videos. I've already done that bit. See you later. Mwah.